everybody and welcome to another day of Superman Set Leaks. We've had a few pop up recently. We've got Mr. Terrific. Um, we've had some Lex Luthor shots. We've had some interesting behind the scenes shots of uh, Superman, of course, in his suit, Lois Lane. But today we get an update of uh, two new characters that we've been kind of excited to see who are Guy Gardner's Green Lantern and Hawk Girl. Let's dive in and see what we're looking at here. So the first image here is, well, there's a lot to take in. First of all, there's people floating, fair enough. Um, I imagine that for Hawk Girl, they're gonna be putting up some wings on her because that's like one of the most prominent features of that character is her massive wings. Uh, and then Mr. Terrific seems to be doing something there with an exoskeleton that maybe he built. I don't know what's going on there. It looks a little bit like something that Baymax would wear, but at the moment I'm reserving judgments because I can't quite see the full thing. And then we've got a blue man there who is either there to help prop people up or is a stand-in for a character that we haven't yet seen. I know that we've got Metamorpho who's going to be playing a character, but I don't know who that could be. Um... Who knows? Nice shoes, though. And then we've got Superman and Guy Gardner. So let's talk about some of these details. First of all, Guy Gardner. If you're not familiar with his character in the comics, uh, Guy Gardner is probably one of the most lovable, annoying people. <laughs> is he actually someone you want to hang out with? Is someone that he should be part of the hero group? Like he's almost sometimes does things that you make him think, oh, this guy seems almost villainy, but... He's got enough good in him that he hangs around the, the, the heroes. One of his most prominent features is this bowl cut red hair, horrible, horrible haircut in the comics. From what I can see, that looks like it's gonna be like a strawberry blonde. It's uh, what all redheads say when they don't wanna be classified as redheads, but um, it looks like a strawberry blonde there. And um, not so much a bowl cut, but like a Bieber cut. I think if they were going to go in with a silly haircut, I think they should have leaned in hard with a really silly looking haircut. Um, where this kind of looks like they're almost trying but don't want to kind of make it too obvious, which is weird. Uh, then the suit. All right, so let's talk about these suits for a second. Now, before I talk about these suits, I just want to kind of have some context here as to reminding everyone that the suits don't make the movie. You could have a great movie with terrible suits. It would still be a great movie. You'd just be like, I oh, could have improved on those suits. But, you know, it is what it is. Sometimes you get epic movies with terrible suits. And on the other hand, you get really, really horrible movies with really great costume design. So before anyone, you know, I've seen, I've seen some people online saying, this movie's going to be terrible, blah, blah, blah. We know nothing about the story. We can infer some things from what we're seeing, but really, we don't know what's going on here. So the story might be great, and we hope it's great. Of course, we want anything we, that we are fans of to be great. I think people sometimes just don't want to be disappointed, so they just decide to go the hard route, just not get their hopes up and bash things. But I still am optimistic. I still think it's going to be great. That being said, I'm not a fan of these suits. Um, I think that Guy Gardner's suit is so weird looking. It's so weird looking. Um, and we'll get on to Hawk Girl for a second here as well. Um, if you can see in this image, first of all, it's just so baggy. And as far as I get like, you know, nothing, not everything has to be skin tight. Generally you want something that's well fit. I don't know. Like the guys can wear like baggy biker outfits, but I think the girls want to be able to be in something that's form-fitting and flattering. Where this kind of looks like baggy, baggy clothes. It's just like baggy. Um, and I'm not so sure about that. Also, the helmet uh, looks very okay. It's not great. It's not terrible. It's just kind of like there. Um and we'll have to see all of this in, you know, they touch it up and they do other things to it and they make it look different. But I'm just not sold. I love the mace, massive mace, classic mace, smashing faces. Maybe we'll see some electricity come out of that. But um, it's just not very form fitting, I feel. Uh, I feel the same thing with Guy Gardner's outfit. I mean, if you go back here and you look at this, it's kind of just baggy around the seams in a way that's kind of like. So. Yeah, but 
this is where I have a little bit of pause for this situation, right? Is that they've got this emblem, which you might have seen online. It's the Maxwell Lord Tech, Maxwell, Max Lord Tech, whatever it's called, Lord Tech um, symbol, which makes me think, okay, well, why is this guy supplying these suits to these heroes? And, and what is going on here? And it makes me wonder if there is some kind of storyline here where they are almost these ambassadors for Lord Tech and he supplied these outfits for them and maybe they're like, these are trash, but we've got to do them because he's paying the bills or something. I don't know what that's about, but I feel like this is not, I personally choose to believe <laughs> that this isn't the final result for these suits. Superman suit doesn't have that that Max that Lord Tech symbol on it. It's the classic, you know, symbols for for Superman, which makes me feel like he's coming in here to kind of in a kingdom come style kind of unify people and kind of separate them from being involved with systems that probably shouldn't be involved in. So I, I'm hoping that that's the direction they take. I'm hoping that this isn't the final thing because it seems like all of these suits. I mean, here's another look at uh, Hawk Girl. They all actually have kind of a similar color palette, this white, particularly the Hawk Girl and the Green Lantern outfit. They seem to have lots of parallels in this in the symbol, like the the angled jackets. So it makes me think that someone's branded these heroes more so than this is their distinct uniforms, uh, which is why maybe in portraying them as these not particularly well-fitted, branded outfits when we see them in their real Green Lantern and Hawk Girl outfits. It just makes me think that this isn't quite the final. This is this is a, something's gone wrong here. People have been kind of misdirected by maybe at this point, not a known villain. And they've been branded as such. And Superman's coming in to be like, hey guys, this is uh, odd. What are you doing? Um, yeah, so that's kind of my thoughts on this because I'm just not a fan. Again, if it doesn't change and this is the outfit they wear for the whole movie, I'll be like, well, look, I don't like it, but the story's good, the movie's great, I'll still love it. The last thing I want to chat about here is there's been some shots again of Superman doing some heroic acts. And one of them we've got here is there's a, a kind of a video that played um, online, which is, uh, you know, the heroes arrive, Mr. Terrific and Guy Gardner and Hawk Girl and... Uh, you know, there's a bunch of kids around and they're like, nah, couldn't be bothered. You guys aren't the cool, the cool heroes. And then Superman arrives and the kids come running and, and it's kind of like a beautiful, sweet little moment. And there's this photo here which shows Superman uh, joyously picking up a child. For all of you uh, Superman fans who were missing the hope and joy, I'm sure this gives you a bit of excitement and, and optimism going into this movie. Um and uh, using that uh, cheap play to get the kids to make us fall in love with him, um, which usually works. So uh, yeah, I think that's kind of adorable that that's gonna be a part of it and to see a Superman who is a just down to earth, true, wholesome, beautiful human alien being is something that I'm I'm so for. Uh, then what I really love is this, the shot that we've got here of Superman lifting something and i mean how do i become that guy on set i want to just be that guy holding those poles balancing the giant uh building that's you know superman's going to be carrying i mean that's someone's job right <laughs> it's pretty amazing and there's some water splashy puddles going on there maybe there's been some massive leak but what i really love about this image is the cape the cape looks gorgeous like you you couldn't CGI a cape to look better than that. I mean, and I know that they've done that a lot with a um, with Man of Steel and with Batman v Superman in, in the capes. They they CGI'd them because notoriously capes are difficult to work with. But I don't know what's going on there. What they're doing here. What kind of fan they're blowing. But that is amazing. That is that is beautiful. And there's a whole lot of shots of Superman's cape just billowing in the wind like it's got a life of its own. Like, I love that. And that 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 gives me you know excitement knowing that we're going to see a really awesome cape. You know, it, it goes a long way for those of us who love capes to see a cool cape blowing in the wind in a really awesome way. That's just fantastic. 
The other thing this kind of really opens up for me is this world. It's it's going to be interesting to see how James Gunn introduces us to a world full of superheroes without any context. Or if he does give us some context or how he does that, how he gives us that background information. Because, you know, we know that comic book fans are familiar with all this stuff, but your general audience member is going to be like, what is this? Um, where are we? How? Why are there so many superheroes? Uh, I do sometimes worry or, I mean, origin stories for me, I always love. I always love origin stories. I know we've seen origin stories for Superman so many times and we've seen it for Batman and all these kind of characters, but I hope that they give an opportunity for us to get an origin story for these other characters. Um, yeah. It's just, it's just there's a lot of mystery around this film and um, presents a lot of questions as to what we're going to be getting out of it. So let's see how we go. Let's see how we go. Thanks for watching, guys. I do a lot of these superhero movie news kinds of stories and, and love chatting about all this kind of stuff. So if that's your cup of tea, feel free to subscribe. And thanks for everyone who's been on this journey with me so far. It's awesome to have you all here and for your support. Um, it's uh, the best. So have a wonderful, fantastic, lovely day.